Attention, a fire's been detected in the building. Please evacuate immediately. Do not use the elevators. Take the stairs. I don't even know if this is real. I don't know what's going on, but then the guy keeps the mic keyed open and you hear a woman in the background going, we gotta get these fucking people out of here! Happening, everybody. Thank you. So here's the show. It's just a bunch of funny people who are all telling true stories. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend and yours, Mr. Joe Rogan, everybody. Let him in. So uh, I've done a lot of traveling doing stand-up comedy. And one of the weird things about traveling is sometimes you have to stay in hotels. Most of the time. All the time. Forget what I said earlier. All the time. <laughs> and most of the time it's uneventful, but I was in a hotel fire once. And it's something you never think about, you hear about occasionally in the news, but when it happens, it's a real freak out. It was in the middle of the night. We got to bed about two o'clock in the morning at about 4.30, and I hear ah, 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 ah. I jump up and I grab the alarm clock, and I try, what button do I have to push to stop this? Ah, ah, ah. I'm thinking, I'm gonna wake up every fucking person in this hotel. I can't believe how loud I have this. I mean, it didn't make any sense. I'm delirious, I don't know what's going on. I'm in that weird dream state, and I hear, attention, a fire's been detected in the building. Please evacuate immediately. Do not use the elevators, take the stairs. I don't even know if this is real. It doesn't make sense. I don't know if it's a recording. I don't know what's going on. But then the guy keeps the mic keyed open, and you hear a woman in the background going, we gotta get these fucking people out of here! <laughs> And I'm in my underwear, so I'm like, okay, what do I need? I need clothes, I, I, my laptop, I grab my shit, and I'm thinking, I'm on the 15th floor, all right? It's an old-ass hotel. We're in the Cliff Hotel in San Francisco. It's Joey Diaz, Tom Segura, and me, okay? I don't know what room they're in, but, you know, I know we're all on the same floor somewhere, so I'm looking for them, and it's, 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 it's a real mind fuck. I'm on the 15th floor, I'm like, 15 flights of stairs, how long does that take? Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I'm going through it in my head, how fast can I run? And I didn't think about the other people in the fucking hotel. There is a river of sleepy travelers that I hit when I open my door, I'm like, oh no, you fucks! You motherfuckers aren't urgent! There's no urgency in your movement! There's a thin veil of civilization that goes on when you're in a real natural emergency. Because it's, it's, it's a fucking freak out. We get to the stairwell. San Francisco is an old city. And they have these really old hotels that were designed when people were tiny. They, w they didn't get any food. They were these little tiny people. So I, I'm not a big guy, but I get into this stairwell and I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. And it's one of those things that they don't do anymore where you can see the whole way down. So as you're going down, you can see everybody below you and they're looking up. And there's this fucking river of people and no one's going fast. And then I start realizing that a lot of these fucking people look like they're sleepwalking. <laughs> and then I start thinking about Ambien. Because if you don't know, 39 million Americans take sleeping pills on a nightly basis. Okay? And I never thought about that until I had to deal with it. Most of the time, I go, oh, you got need to go to sleep, whatever, I don't give a fuck. But you do give a fuck when you're in a fucking hotel and all of a sudden, everyone is sleepwalking. If you've never experienced this before, people who are on Ambien, they just do shit while they're sleeping and they don't know they did it. You can just wake them up and push them and they just keep going and figure out what to do. It's a very strange thing. I have a friend who takes it every night. He can't not take it, but he needs sleep so badly that he's willing to like forget that he did shit. He made a fucking turkey. Okay? The guy, this is not enough to get him to quit doing ambient. He got up in the middle of the night, decided he was making a turkey, went downstairs, preheated the oven, drove to the supermarket, bought a turkey, came home, stuffed it, made mashed potatoes and gravy, cooked it, ate it, went to sleep, got up and called the police. He goes, someone broke into my house and made a turkey. They're like, do you take Ambien? Yes, but that's not the point. 
No, it's, it's a fucking terrible drug. It's a, it's a weird thing. Taking sleeping pills is a dangerous thing. So I'm in this hotel where you're entering into the stairwell, just, just this funnel of fucking people, and some of them are wearing slippers, and some of them are wearing bathrobes, and everybody's fucking walking really slow. And we hit the stairwell, and we start going, and I see the smoke. As you're looking down, you're seeing smoke. It's like maybe 10 floors down, like maybe second, third floor, and I'm like, fuck, where is this fire? What if I fucking see fire? What do I do if I see fire? You don't want to be the first guy to freak out, but you don't want to be the last guy to freak out either. So there's that thing, like when go time is there, you gotta be ready for go time. Nobody else is waiting for go time. People start fucking waking up on the stairs. You can see them in the middle of the stair, we're just going, what are we doing? What are we doing? Waking up in the middle of walking down the stairs in a fucking fire in a hotel. And this guy goes, what's going on? The wife goes, we're in a hotel fire. She goes, a hotel? Why are we in a hotel? These people are just walking down the stairs, waking up as they're going. And you can tell the real old school ambient junkies because they're used to waking up in the middle of doing shit. And this one guy, he grips the railing, looks around, and just keeps going. You can tell, he's like, okay, we're doing this. This is what we're doing. So we're walking down the stairway and I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to panic because I'm like, everybody can move a lot faster and there's a space between their head and the stairway above. And I'm like, if I could just get in that space, I can make some fucking progress. But you don't want to be the first guy to step on people's heads. So I'm like, okay, keep it together. Keep it together, keep it together, 15 floors. I have kids, okay? I'm starting to fucking really freak out. And then one guy decides to stop the line. He grabs the rail and he goes, do we even know where we're going? And you see everyone just sort of just rise up behind this guy. And everyone's thinking just murderous chimpanzee thoughts. It's just the deep primal part of your brain that wants to survive. And that was the guy that I focused on for the whole rest of the time we came down the stairs. Because I said, that's my guy. The moment I see fire, I'm gonna punch through that dude's asshole, pull out his skeletal system, and wear him as a fire suit to run to safety. That's my plan. I'm like, I am not fucking burning to death because I'm in a hotel with a bunch of sleepy bitches. And I'm also thinking the whole time, how the fuck is Joey Diaz getting in this staircase? That's part of what I'm thinking. So, you know, I, I love my friends. So I get outside and I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Joey. We get outside. It turns out it wasn't really a fire. It turns out it was a bunch of drunk assholes who just set off the fire extinguisher, which is really good that nobody freaked out. Because the last thing is you, you want to be outside when they go, there was no real fire while you're wearing a dude's skin. <laughs> and you're like, I'm such a dick. I'm really sorry about all this. Right when they said there's no fire, everybody goes, where's Joey? Where's Joey? Joey Diaz comes around the corner and he's holding a joint. <laughs> and I go, how'd you get outside? He goes, I took the elevator like a doctor. Yeah. Thank you very much. You guys have been awesome.